Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another speed build, and you know what that means. We had audio issues again, but we'll get into that more later. First, I want to introduce you to our Sims. So ever since the Dream Home Decorator pack came out, I've been loving making houses for specific Sims. So I made a couple Sims and we are going to be decorating their apartment. So let's head on into the game and I will introduce you to our Sims. So this is our first Sim here. This is Anahi Nakata. And as far as her design preferences go, she likes the color blue and the color green, and she likes mid-century decor. And this is her girlfriend, Jamie Crane and she likes the color pink and the color yellow and she also likes boho decor now for the sake of the build I made them both like mid-century and boho because sometimes when you're a couple you have to compromise these two are already on the gallery if you want to download them and without further ado let's get into the build we are of course starting with the layout here and when I made the two girls I only used equal lifestyle the dream home decorator and the paranormal stuff pack so that is all that I used for this build as well and as you can see I skipped a few things so I skipped over doing the bathroom we will take a tour of this house once we're finished and I also did the layout of the kitchen and living room area originally I was going to make this a starter apartment but by the time I ran out of money this actually ended up being one of my favorite apartments that I've ever made so I wanted to give them more money to make this place look perfect and that's also part of the reason that I didn't want to just scrap this build or scrap this video is because this is one of my favorite builds that I've ever done and I wanted to share that with you guys still. Now you can see in the bedroom I do struggle with the curtains. It drives me nuts that we cannot put curtains wherever we want to and the height on these windows in the bedroom makes it impossible to put curtains there. I'm not sure if they intend for you to put the kitchen there or something but I do eventually put some shelves there and then put some clutter over there. And as far as the color scheme went, I wanted to incorporate both of their likes. So Jamie loves the color yellow and Anahi loves the color blue. So that is what I went for with their bedroom. I really wanted to give their bedroom a big closet space, but these modular items are really difficult to use. And then of course, when you put the walls down, half of it disappears. So I like the idea of these modular items, but sometimes they just don't really work out that great. They don't function very well. And when you raise items up, it doesn't disappear once you put the walls down like the shelving does. If I raised items up to put it in some of these shelves, then I would just have a floating item once I put the walls down. So I think I left some of these empty. I would prefer to not have to do. The other thing with these modular items is how many shelves that they have. It can be great for all of the customization, but I wish some of them had items already in there, or at least a couple shelves did. Because I spend so much time filling in every shelf. Doing all the little clutter pieces takes so much time and it costs so much money. Which is part of the reason why this apartment was so expensive. Was me trying to fill in all of these shelves from their dresser and also their TV console. So what I ended up doing for their dresser section was I put items on the top shelf so that when you put the walls down, it wasn't just an empty shelf because I thought that that looked kind of odd. And then when you put the walls up, <laughs> those items kind of get squished by the actual drawers there. So I do really like the idea of the modular items that come in this pack. I just wish that there was a couple of them that were kind of complete kind of like how they have the modular sofas, but they also just put a regular sofa with this pack. So I used the Dream Home Decorator pack along with the Eco Lifestyle pack, and I did notice that some of the wood swatches don't match, and some of them do, so that kind of limited me on the color scheme that I could use in here. And I did go back and forth with a lot of them, because I really wanted this apartment to be really colorful. With the TV console, I tried to add of course the modular items but I also wanted to use some items from Eco Lifestyle because there's a lot of shelving units that come with Eco Lifestyle and the one that I used alongside the TV console actually has some clutter pieces on the shelf that I was talking about earlier that I wish Dream Home Decorator had just a couple of just some it just would have been nice to have some variety there are a few shelving items that come with Eco Lifestyle that have slots where you can put stuff to customize things, but they also have clutter already in it. And I wish that Dream Home Decorator did a little bit of that. 
just to make it easier because it takes such a long time to fill in every single spot. You can see I spent a ton of time working on this corner in the kitchen. I could not figure out what the heck I wanted to put there, but I think eventually I put a bookshelf there, which actually looks really good in my opinion. It looks really nice. I just wasn't happy with how the cabinets looked in that section, so I ended up adding a bookshelf there, and I think that that works pretty well. I did playtest this apartment as well, and I did have to move a couple things around so that your sims could get to the couch. So as far as the audio issues that I've been having, some of you may have noticed in my last few videos that the game sounds were really loud. I did turn those up and filmed a few videos without realizing how loud it was because it sounded fine in my headphones. But the really frustrating thing is when I filmed this video at the beginning, I actually said sorry for the audio issues and that they were fixed and I didn't fix them <laughs> at all. I don't know how I missed that, but they are fixed now from here on out. Hopefully we will not have any more audio issues, but we'll see. We probably will. So I do really appreciate you guys bearing with me while I figure this out. I am still very new to this. I think that's it for the majority of the furniture items. We're just adding clutter pieces and putting in the lighting. So I think we're going to end the speed build here and we're going to jump into game and I'll give you a tour of the finished apartment. All right, I guess we will start in the dining room here. This is the most basic room, so we'll start here. Very simple, not much going on here. I don't think there's much that you missed in the video. Just added the plants on the wall and the painting there. Here is the kitchen. Again, I don't think I changed much. I got rid of the vent hood because I don't like things hanging from the ceiling when I'm playing the game. I think it's very obnoxious. And I added just a couple of clutter things in here. A couple plants, drinks tray. Here's the bookshelf that I was talking about. I think that came with the Dream Home Decorator pack. And I put the llama and linen basket in there. I think it looks pretty seamless with the cabinet. And I believe that's the only bookshelf in here. Here is the living room. I think this is my favorite. I added a lot of pink items in here to try and tie in the desk area in the corner. Over here is a little desk area with some storage. Let's head on into the bedroom. I put the fireplace in here, storage. And I skipped this in the speed build because I didn't want to <laughs> bore you guys. I added a shelf over here with a lot of clutter on that. Here's the closet. This wall isn't painted because when I uploaded it to the gallery I had to remove the doors or remove the walls so that I could upload it as a room. Forgot to repaint. Alright, now let's go look at the bathroom. You guys didn't get to see the bathroom. It's a very simple plain bathroom, just a shelving unit with some clutter that is fully in the wall. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's it. Some linens under the sink. Very basic, boring looking bathroom. Alright, that is it. That's the apartment. This is one of my favorite builds that I've ever done. Definitely my favorite apartment because I'm not very good at doing apartments. So this will be on the gallery if you guys are interested in downloading it. It just uses Eco Lifestyle, Dream Home Decorator, and the Paranormal Stuff Pack. So it's very limited packs. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone!